Dell creates a proprietary DDR5 connector. And my spicy take on this, before we even get any further into it, is maybe that's not actually a terrible thing. All right. Now, this was written by Anthony, and I think he's editorialized a little bit in here. But I... Just a little oh, bit. No. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Under embargo. Wait. Uh, oh, shoot. Alex added some notes here that may or may not be under embargo. We just might not be able to talk about this yet this week. I, oh, it's late, but um, I've seen him in the chat anyway, so I'm just going to call him. This is why I started terrible, watching? Fair enough. Terrible Fair boss. Enough. Oh, okay, this is why I started watching. Oh, okay. Um, hi, Mr. Clark. Yes? So am I allowed to say the things you said or no? Yes, I have taken everything that's in there, and like the stuff that I can't say is not in there. Okay, cool. So it's sanitized. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Sweet. A lot, a lot more. Okay, cool. I'm but excited. Okay, okay, thanks. Okay, bye. Okay. okay. Oh, love that guy. Okay, <laughs> so we're good. allowed to say everything that's in here. Dell, a company once famous for its proprietary components. <laughs> has once again created a novel way to do something nobody was asking for. A proprietary DDR5 module, writes Anthony Young. The module, do you want to bring up a picture, Luke? Called sure. Compression Attached Memory Module, or CAM, is described as a compact way to replace two separate SODIM modules with a single one, which honestly sounds kind of cool, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Each module is split into two separate zones of eight chips each, so it's basically like taking two SODIMs and gluing them together. And according to Dell's marketing, the machine that they're going to debut on, the Precision 7670, will be able to support up to 128 gigs of memory as a result. That's pretty freaking incredible. Dell claims that HAM allows them to provide memory upgrades and higher capacities without the need to solder the chips to the mainboard, which would prevent any upgrades at all. Unfortunately, it is not known at this time, prospective buyers, whether CAM will be an open standard. Because if it's not, then yes, you could upgrade, but you, you would be holding to Dell. Here we go. There's a good look at it. So the idea is to save the, the profile, right? So you can still make super thin machines, but not solder the RAM. Yeah. So to be fair to Dell, the Precision 7670 is supposed, supposed to, be to be an absolute beast with an Alder Lake HX CPU and either Arc Pro or RTX A5000 GPU. So they're going to cost a small fortune and there probably isn't a lot of internal space remaining for expansion slots. But there's a twist on this. Dell's also got a proprietary graphics connector based on MXM called Dell Graphics Form Factor, which first debuted on the Area 51M. So there's a recent precedent for Dell going down this path. So Luke, what's your initial sort of reaction our discussion question is is this like one of those monkey paw situations right where you've been asking for upgradable laptops and you end up with like <coughs> this cursed solution where well, it's upgradable but it's proprietary we, i don't think we know that it's a cursed solution yet because they're where's the notes on this is was this taken out of the notes this is something that i'm concerned about yeah, be careful. Just just try to answer it based on what we only knew from the initial articles covering it so far. Cause I'll give you guys more detail in a sec. Um, okay, so this note is in the bolded Alex note part. Mm -hmm. But I can say that, right? Uh, yeah. I can say things that well, are in the bolded I, Alex note? I wanted your spicy take right out of the gate on like a proprietary memory module. But okay, but the problem is, ah, uh, there's important things in the in the Alex note about Just, that. Yeah, but you didn't know that yet. Ignore that. Pretend it doesn't exist. Look, I'm going to make life really easy for you, and so, I'm going to remove it. So if so oh, the wow, initial reporting wow. on this was just what's up here. That's uh, if it. I only read the initial reporting, which I don't, yeah. which based on the additional reporting is not fair or accurate just, just, in my just, opinion just, oh my god Luke, um, just, on, but man. then i would say that it's bad i don't want i don't want proprietary components i don't want to buy a laptop that has something that i can't replace unless i buy that thing like it, when it's ram right because yeah. th there is stuff that's very true like if you look at the uh the the hyper 
text link for a company that it famously overcharges for parts. There's RAM in there. It's like 16 gigs. It's like a $500. Um, exactly. It's, it's, it gets really brutal and I'm not a fan of that, but that's potentially not what we're dealing with. So, right. But the thing is proprietary standards often lead us down these paths. Right. Yeah. And you are literally reinventing uh, because you got to remember, too, like it's not like Dell doesn't participate in JDEC. Right. right. So if Dell wanted an open standard for a dual module thing for laptops, it's not like they don't have the relationships to try to create something like that. The industry body standards way. Right. So in general. Every time we see a proprietary way to attach a thing to a computer, be it a GPU, uh, a memory module, it's about typically locking the user into an environment um, as a primary concern with whatever else they were trying to achieve as maybe a, a similar level concern or even a secondary concern. So there was a lot of trepidation around this move. Yeah. But... We know these new things now. Yes, Alex okay. got to have yeah. a meeting with the guy that designed Cam today. Um, some of the info we have is under embargo until such time as it is not under embargo. So we can't say too much. But Alex's take so far is that it's in, it is legit. And they are in discussion with JDEC and with Intel to make it a standard. And what that would mean is that instead of relying on Dell and their maybe handful of authorized partners who can make these things and we've seen yeah. this we've seen this many times where the only place that you can get an ssd to go in your in your apple machine is from you know owc and maybe like one other supplier which means there's very little competition competition and prices stay high uh if they are making it an open standard then what we could expect is that prices might be a little higher than a regular sodium because it's just less it's a lower volume part um so that there's just lower demand, therefore lower production volumes, therefore higher prices. But I would expect the pricing to be at least close to, or, or at least reflective of the cost of building it, which is just you know twice as many uh, DRAM packages. And like it's going to cost more because it's like way more RAM. And okay, the PCB design overhead has to be covered and we're not going to sell as many units. But like, it sounds like it could be pretty reasonable. And one of the reasons that this could be a great move for the industry is that currently SODIM is one to two generations away from not being able to support increasing memory speeds and capacity. And the connector itself adds a lot of signal interference as well as cost and Z height, which is the thickness that it adds to the overall design. Yeah. Currently, if you have 128 gigs of SODIM memory, four sticks, the speed tops out at 4,000 megatransfers per second. I mean, compare that to the leaked speeds in the article. And Dell's talking about this thing doing uh, 128 gigs of DDR5 4800 transfer per second using this standard. Well, that's freaking awesome. Or I think this is a rumor. Yeah. Twitter user recently shared photographs. Yeah, yeah. It's rumor, a leak rumor, rumor. Whatever. Yeah, leak, rumor. Yeah. Who knows? Dell yeah. is allegedly saying that they can achieve that. So honestly, I started out kind of angry and ended up kind of jacked actually on it yeah I agree. well when you hear like dell proprietary thing blah 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 the the knee jerk is definitely going to be like well this sucks a lot um, well yeah they don't have a good track record for that stuff. oh absolutely not right so it's it's really nice to hear that i mean well hopefully this actually happens but it really nice to hear that they are um legit in discussion with JDEC and Intel and working on making it a standard and stuff like that. So it doesn't go down that route because it sounds like cool tech that would be nice for like a range of people to have. Um, Absolutely. And, and that's, that's actually really exciting. But yeah, when you read like the first few lines of this, it's terrifying. <laughs> oh, I know. Right. Like, this is horrible. Look, I, I, I know you didn't want to give me a take now that we know more, but well, no, I, I didn't knew know like a week. I didn't People know what your, out. I didn't know what your plan was. I didn't know if we were actually going to read the Alex part or not. And I was just like, uh, I don't want to like condemn them if they're actually doing something that might be cool. Uh, but yeah, 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 for sure. 
Because they um, would deserve was... it. If the Alex part wasn't in here, like if that if that didn't exist at all, and I don't mean just Alex's notes, but I mean like that concept in in the slightest. Mm-hmm. If they were just making this proprietary, that would suck, and I, I would want to go after them for it. But oh, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Are we ready to talk about how the GPU apocalypse? Oh, holy crap! Should we uh, do sponsor Luke? spots? I don't, it is eight thirty. I don't know how to access the merge messages dashboard. Oh. Um... Can you send it to me? Sorry, Adam. Yeah. Some of you may not have realized, but. <laughs> I am not actually here. Yeah. <laughs> it should be in your email, but I can I can fire it to you right now. Um, I, if you want to just start the there. next topic. Hey, Mr. Bella Vance has already hit me with it. Beautiful. Thank you so much for that. We actually don't have a ton of curated merch messages today. There's only only a handful. Most of them are just going getting pushed to the stream. Yeah. So yeah, guys, don't forget that if you if you want to chat with us. Super chats are really not the way to do it anymore over on YouTube. We we don't really look at those anymore. I mean, I did notice that someone spent $100 to tell me that they they don't like me anymore. That's um, a really like, good way. If you want to really complain about, like, if you just hate me, just just go at it. But, like, tell me through merch messages. Buy stuff on the store. Um, Let her rip, Yeah, merch dude. messages are definitely better because then you like get an order. Yeah. Um, but anyway, Greg, so I, I actually sh- I have one more thing to say to Greg is like, I don't think that I was creating division. I think the division's there. And I think the fact that there's a perceived division because of the things I was saying means that the division is just already there. If anything, I was trying to be extremely level this week. Um, it's OK for me to like it's OK for me to not think someone is a messiah. And it's okay for you to think someone is and like, whatever it's, it's all good, but it is tech. That's the thing is you got to understand that these figures, whether your name is Tim cook or, you know, uh, Larry Ellison or, uh, Bill Gates or whatever, like these are people who, who are tech, you know, you can't, you can't say that something to do with, um, Oh man, I'm trying to think of, you know, someone who I would, uh, okay, let's say take Woz, right? Something to do with Steve Wozniak. When Steve Wozniak opens his mouth or when Linus Torvalds opens his mouth, it's tech. Whether, you know, no matter what they're talking about, it's kind of there. There are celebrities, right? So we, we do talk about them. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And thanks to Secret Lab for sponsoring this week's clips. Secret Lab chairs are engineered to keep you comfy, and with up to five years of warranty and a 49-day return policy, you're covered if anything goes wrong. Head to the link in the description to get your Secret Lab chair today.